to the Military Connection Education Coalition. And last but not least is I want to thank the military children that are here today. Your family members are the ones that get the recognition that serve and deploy are there for the state disasters and yet you serve right along with your family members. I can relate. My wife and I who both served over 60 years have a junior and a senior in high school and they also a military child uh, uh, children that have grown up in a house of two serving uh, service members so uh, it's not easy it's not always fair but thank you for your support and the love that you give to your service members and thank you for the sacrifice that you have given for our country and so I have another award that that I would like to uh, to end with today and, and kind of a surprise here and so if I could ask Samantha to come back up here please So, so what I have here is a, is a what we call a commander's coin. And for those in the military wearing uniforms, you know that this coin doesn't represent much. In fact, you can't buy much with this coin. But what this coin represents for my office is for excellence. And so I want to provide you with this excellence in, in your efforts to be a great military child, but more important, uh, support for your father and for your mother and as all the four deployments that you've had with your father. So on behalf of my office, I just would like to present you with my coin and to say thank you again for all that you do. Thank you very much. And so uh, we also have one more surprise. And if I would ask uh, the sergeant there to turn around, please. <laughs> So you really wonder who this is Samantha's father who just returned from Afghan or excuse me from Iraq. Doesn't get any better than that, does it?
how cool was that? <laughs> I'm so glad you all got to be here for that, and I'm so glad you're here for our opening night of Mulan. And now I'm going to invite our curtain warmers out. Please enjoy our show. <laughs> Mom! Damn, that's a hottie. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh shit! Are you serious? <laughs> We've known about this for two weeks, girl. <laughs> about her wish for Christmas set up a homecoming surprise today at her school. WLKY's Ann Bowden went to Crossroads Elementary in Mount Washington for the surprise. All I want for Christmas is my brother. Fourth grader Andrea Miracle didn't know it, but she was about to get a miracle. When her brother left, we all knew that she was very sad about it, and we've heard lots of conversations about Skyping him and wanting to see him and wanting to go to Germany to see him and wanting him to come home. All I want for Christmas is my brother. He's been the He's been in the Army for one and a half years. As a part of a class project, Andrea, along with two other selected students, read their All I Want for Christmas essays. But little did Andrea know, the entire project was created to make her wish come true. This is important to me because Jake is my only sibling. He has been there for me through hard and easy times. The things I miss most about him are his big blue eyes, his giggle, his laugh, his smile, and his hugs and kisses. While every student wrote a letter, teachers and Andrea's mother had a large wrapped surprise with someone very special listening inside. Well, she said in her letter, in her paper, that um, if she got to see her brother, she would have a cow. I would do whatever I could to keep him home. I would be so happy that I would go crazy. I would do anything to see him. Thanks to an approved leave from the Army. Wish granted. I was tearing up in the box. I, oh God, I, mean, she, <laughs> I knew that's how she felt, but just hearing her read it and hearing her say it, and the fact that she wrote two whole pages, it was ridiculous. And now Andrea is getting those hugs and kisses she's missed, and time. I don't care what we do as long as I'm with you. That's perfect. <laughs> Now, Andrea's brother, Jacob, will be home until January 3rd. After that, he'll go back overseas to Italy. But Andrea says this homecoming will last her for a while. This Hi, Daddy. Hello. Where are you coming from? So here we are yep. in uh, Miller Place, Pasteria. I just got off my flight at uh, MacArthur, coming from El Paso, but before that, Djibouti. Uh, I haven't seen Brittany or Jasper or Abel for the first time, for that matter, since before I deployed. So uh, at this time, th so they're going to bring me some, a dessert, and I'm going to bring it over to Jasper. And they're going to be like, oh, did a Mr. Jasper James order an ice cream? And it's going to be one of those moments where, like, you know, so pretty exciting. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. I was dancing in the car before I got here. So. Yeah. That's where we are. Jasper, you wait. Jasper, you wait. Hold on. That is great. Oh, I got to talk to you. Wow. Mr. Jasper James, order an ice cream. Here you go. What's up? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, Isn't that a really lifelike computer? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Does my name on it? Is that a welcome home for me? Yep. Oh, thank you! Let's go! Let's go! I'm ready! Gotta unwrap it. Right here. Okay, Help her. Open it up. Come on, come on. Don't worry about How are you doing? Oh, okay. Okay. I wanted a trampoline. <laughs> you wanted a trampoline? Trampolines are bigger. Yeah. I love you very much. Oh. Do you like your surprise? Yeah. Yeah. It was daddy. I say yes. I was daddy. Was that a good surprise? Yeah, she scared me. <laughs> Do you miss daddy? Yeah. Are you glad to see him home? Yeah. Have a kiss. <laughs> Thank <Ew>. you. Ew. <laughs> Everybody say bye. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Surprise. How are you doing? Are you just walking back home with us? Yeah. <laughs> you surprised? Yeah. I got that for you on my ship. Oh, thank you. Oh. What'd you get? Hey, how come you guys didn't pick me up? <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the crap out of me. <laughs>